One other trial that was reported as positive in the press is called Squire with a drug called Nesitumumab, another antibody against EGFR, so similar to Herbitux, Cetuximab. And uh, this was a chemo plus or minus this agent in squamous patients. And that's been a, a tough nut to crack. Nasser, can you tell us a bit about the trial and your impressions? Well, this was a very large randomized phase three trial in patients with squamous cell cancer only. And patients received a reasonable chemotherapy regimen for squamous tumors, cisplatin and gemcitabine. And then they either received a placebo with it or they received nesitumumab, which is a monoclonal antibody to EGFR. It's very similar to a drug called Herbitux or Cetuximab, which has been around for years and years. And in this trial, patients received six cycles of the combination regimen, and then they could continue on to receive the study drug as maintenance therapy. And the investigators showed there was no difference in response rates, very little difference at all in disease control rates, no difference at all in progression-free survival, which is identical to what we see with cetuximab or Herbitux in a similar patient population. And they showed a very marginal, I think clinically meaningless difference in survival, which met statistical significance, just like Herbitux did in another trial called the FLEX trial. And we've already addressed this with the FLEX trial. We've said as a medical community that this does not seem meaningful. And the reason, in my view, it's not meaningful is because these are hard drugs. This drug, like Herbitux, causes a lot of skin toxicity, and that can be very unpleasant for patients. So my take-home message is that it's statistically significant, but cl clinically not terribly helpful for patients. Others can argue with that, and I think it's fair uh, to, to hear the other side.